wickings. An entire new world chock full of gold. Just waiting for me. Oh. And scores of adventures waiting for us, right, Percy? Do you think we'll meet some savages? If we do, we shall be sure to give them a proper English greeting. Oh, gift baskets. Mm. And he came so highly recommended. It's perfect, Governor. The water's deep enough, we can pull right up to shore. Hey there, Percy. Very well, then. Give the order. Already done, sir. I've got a crew assembled and they're ready to go. About the natives. I'm counting on you to make sure those filthy heathens don't disrupt our mission. Well, if they're anything like the savages I've fought before, it's nothing I can't handle. Right. That'll be all, Smith. <coughs> See you, Percy. <coughs> the men like Smith, don't they? I've never been a popular man. I like you. And don't think I don't know what those backstabbers at court say about me. Oh, yes, all that talk about being a pathetic social climber who's failed at everything I'm very well aware that this is my last chance for glory. But mark my words, Wiggins, when King James sees the gold these peasants on Earth's success will be mine at last. It's incredible. And it's all ours. I've never seen anything like it. It could look like Radcliffe's knickers for all I care. Just as long as I got off this stinking boat. Come on, man. We didn't come all this way just to look at it. Now, tie her off. Here, John, tie off this end. John? John? What are you doing up there? Getting a better look. Strange looking fellow. You hungry? Here you go. It's a biscuit. It's food. Well, sort of. You like it, eh? Well, try eating it for four months straight. You got a friend back there? Governor's coming ashore. All right, all right. I'm leaving. 